Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Before I get to tonight's build, it's mail call. Okay, it's almost mail call. I gotta find a, a knife first so I can open these. Hang on. It figures. I got a shop full of tools and not a single knife. Looks like it's scissors. Our first one was sent by Royal Mail. All right, this one comes from Phil Cannon, uh, I believe in England. Uh, there's no return address, so I can't verify that, but uh, here's Phil's sticker. Isn't that pretty cool? You know, this means I'm gonna have to find some place to put stickers now. Oh no. I don't even have room for tools. If I fit one more tool into this tool shop, my shop is at maximum density. If I try to sho shove one more tool in here, there will be a small thermonuclear reaction. I guarantee it. Next is from Dovetail's Fine Woodworking. He goes all out. That's a big sticker. This, I believe, is... Let's see if there's a business card. Yes, there is. Yeah, Eddie Stripe, or Eddie Stipe. Eddie's been uh, commenting on my videos now for a while, I think since the beginning, and is uh, friends with me also on Facebook. So thank you, Eddie, appreciate it. This next set is from the Makers Media Network. That's the logo that you see at the end of my videos now. I'm, I have joined this network. It's a network of small makers, uh, or small shop makers on YouTube that have uh, joined up and try to promote each other. One of the people in that runs, but, uh, let me see, it's uh, Parnell Media. Uh, that is Steve Nealon, and he is a webmaster, as well as uh, other things, I'm sure, but he runs several of the websites for uh, a lot of the makers in the group. Really great guy. Thank you, Steve, Eloy, Javier and David. I appreciate it. And here's the coup de grace of stickers. You're all gonna be jealous. RJB Woodturner, signed. That's a collectible right there. <laughs> Thank you, Bob, appreciate it. So each of you that uh, sent me a sticker, as long as you left me a return address, you can expect to get one back. If anybody else watching would like to do a sticker swap, uh, just, uh, Send me one of yours along with a return address and I'll send you back one of mine. If you don't have a sticker and would just like one of mine, here it is, Lost River Woodshop. Uh, just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to the PO box that you'll see in the comments below and I'll send you a sticker. On to tonight's project. Oh, and before I forget, I had one more piece of mail. This was something I actually ordered. I got a couple of new colors this evening. Uh, one is a black pearl and the other is blood red. So with these two colors, that means that I can now work on these three blanks. These are the blanks from the flooring from the Evil Dead shack. We're going to make some blood to put in these blanks. So here's the plan. I'm going to use this mold to cast these blanks. Maybe not. That's not going to work. Okay, plan B. Welcome to plan B. This is a mold that I've made out of basically a cutting board. So, in essence, I have a box here that I can use to make a block of uh, resin. And instead of using the individual cavities mold, which isn't going to allow me to pour much resin in, I'm going to use this mold to hold the three blanks and I'll end up using hot glue to put these in place so they don't float up. And what this will allow me to do is to totally envelop the blanks in resin 
so that it can seep into every nook and cranny of these blanks, creating that blood effect that uh, Brian is looking for. So let me figure out how much resin I'm going to need to use, and I'll be back starting to mix. So here's what I figured out. I'm going to need to use a little over 300 grams of material to fill this mold and cover those blanks enough so that the resin will have a chance to seep in. So what I'm going to do is mix all of the resin in one cup first. Then I'm going to pour out half of it into a second one and mix the colors separately that way. That way I'll have half and half black and red and they'll be heating up to that uh, 96 degree temperature that I look for at the same time. All right, so let's start with the black pearl and the blood red. Couple dabs of hot glue on here and set that down. I'm trying to pick the sides that have the least holes in them. So that gives <laughs> oh, that's not working, is it? Nope. Alright. Plan B. Plan C. This looks like a job for the bandsaw. So here's the plan. I'm going to cover these blanks in resin. Then I'll use this piece of cutting board to set on top and make sure they don't float and get away from me. You know what? I think I've even got a better idea. I'm going to do a flip cup pour on this instead. What that means is I'm going to... I want the red to be my primary color, so that needs to be the color that's poured into the other color. So we'll try it like that. And what this will do is give a lot of swirls of the resin, and then once I put it in there, then I'll put the blanks and push it down into the resin. These are starting to thicken up. Ooh. It's time to mix. So that goes into there. Get ready for the magic. It goes on top. Turn it over and let it go. A little resin over the top of that one. Oh, this is really starting to gel. All right, I got to get this in the pressure pot.
So the blanks have now been put under the pot and they're under pressure. So they'll need to sit in there and cook for a couple hours. Uh, it's getting late enough tonight that I don't think I'm going to finish this right now. So when you see me again, it'll be tomorrow. Well, the blanks have had 24 hours now to cook. So let's open up the pot and see what we got. Later. So here's the block as it's come out of the mold. It actually looks pretty cool. So I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw, cut them up, and we'll see what it looks on the sides. All right, all in all, not too bad. I cut them a little close to the wood so we can see some of the penetration. Uh, missed the mark a little bit on, on some of the sides, but we get a fairly good idea. You can, you can see here how the resin penetrated into some of those wormholes. There's some here on the top that got covered up. Here's one on this side that got filled in. And since I wasn't able to glue them down on the bottom, it was probably a good thing because some resin got underneath and was able to seep up into the holes uh, on that side. This one looks like it turned out really well. This is the one that has the large hole on the top and that goes all the way through the blank comes out right here so this i know has resin going all the way through and this is going to give my buddy brian the exact kind of effect that he's looking for so overall i think he's turned out really well uh, i'll be sure to ask for pictures of the finished product so i can show you guys once i get them so thanks for stopping by this week i appreciate it if you like what i'm doing here make sure you hit that subscribe button ring that bell so you get the notifications when i release something new if you like this video, hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know how I'm doing. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was sticking out on top. Never. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> huh.